Recently, I saw a social media post by the Alzheimer's Association stating that Alzheimer's is a woman's disease and that not only are women more likely to have Alzheimer's, we're also more likely to be caregivers of those living with the disease. So I decided to do a little research and found that there is in fact a gender disparity. Now, in a recent study conducted at the University of Cambridge, researchers explored the possibility of using virtual reality technology for early screening of Alzheimer's disease. The findings shed light on why this debilitating condition disproportionately affects women. So why are women more likely to develop Alzheimer's? Number one, longevity. Women tend to live longer than men and age is the most significant risk factor for Alzheimer's. And as a result, the higher prevalence of Alzheimer's in women can be attributed to our longer life expectancy. So for every 1,000 individuals ages 65 to 74, four out of 1,000 develop Alzheimer's each year. Ages 75 to 84, 32 out of 1,000 develop Alzheimer's each year. And ages 85 and older, that number increases to 76 out of 1,000 who will develop Alzheimer's each year. Therefore, the sheer number of older women in society contributes to the gender disparity. Number two, incidents. Even when considering individuals of the same age, women have a higher likelihood of being diagnosed with Alzheimer's than men. Studies in Sweden, Taiwan, and Europe consistently show that women are more prone to Alzheimer's disease. And number three, non-Alzheimer's dementia. Interestingly, the incidence of non-Alzheimer's dementia is not significantly different between men and women. Now, this suggests that there is a specific interaction between Alzheimer's disease and gender. Now, how do we bridge the gap? Research funding is key. Now, currently only 12% of National Institutes of Health funding for dementia research focuses on women. So if we double, if we can get them to double funding for women-focused Alzheimer's research, this could yield substantial benefits in the vital information that we need to hopefully make a change. And then there's awareness and advocacy. Organizations like the Women's Alzheimer's Movement and AARP are working to raise awareness and address the gender gap in Alzheimer's research and care. Now, as we strive for better understanding and effective interventions, it's crucial to recognize that Alzheimer's is not just a disease of aging. It is a gendered challenge that demands collective action from us all.